Lord, I'll give you my heart, I'll give you my soul, oh yes, Lord Jesus, oh Lord God, hallelujah, God Almighty, I'll give you my heart. I give you my soul Every breath that we take It is the gift From the King of Kings And the Lord of Lord Hallelujah Jesus Hallelujah, hallelujah are you tired to worship the king? Are you tired to worship the king? Are you tired to clap in your hands to the king of kings? Oh, Jesus. We give you a heart. Oh yes, Lord. Sometimes we are tired. But the presence of God that bestowed upon us every morning, every day in our life. Oh Jesus. Jesus my King Jesus our King and Kings and the Lord of Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah thank God for the amazing wonderful worship Always remember that we are not doing this to your sister, to your brother. We are doing it because he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Good afternoon, everybody. To all our brethren and uh, Philippines, good afternoon, and also uh, in Jeddah, and to all the brethren and tuning to our service today. Praise God! Thank you so much, and uh, God will bless you all. And thank you for Hallelujah for the great revival today. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is an awesome and a great uh, privilege once again that uh, Pastor George and Pastora Rosemary he allow me to stand. Praise God. And it's a great blessing for me. Praise God. Are you glad that you are in the house of God today? Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Rose and Pastor George, thank you so much. And to all the elders and uh, the leaders, praise God. And thank you for this uh, great privilege once again. So, here we go. If you have your Bible, open with me in the book of Micah. It's a common verse. Praise God. Chapter 7, reading from verse 8. Praise God. And I saw it last <laughs> with uh, Brother Eric uh, preached the word. Praise the Lord. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, 
I shall arise. When I sit in the darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. For once again, Lord, hallelujah. We're praying, Lord, for the revelation. We're praying, Lord God, for the guidance and anointing of your spirit. God, I pray. And myself, Lord, hallelujah, I am nothing. I'm just a filter rug, hallelujah, that cleans me. Once again, hallelujah, I pray. Hallelujah, anoint you words. And myself, once again, God, I pray. I pray, God, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you, word. Hallelujah. Let my word, let my mouth speak your word. Not from my own self. Hallelujah. Because this self is the sinful self. Let your word, Lord, be revealed unto us this afternoon. God, I pray. Oh, God Almighty, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of David, the God of Solomon, the God of the prophets, and the God, hallelujah, of the apostles, the God that we serve in the present time, that we change our life, Lord. God, I pray, hallelujah, let you will be done today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. Everybody say amen. amen. You may be seated. Before you seated, I would like to preach and title. Do I fall? I will arise. You may be seated, mga kapatid ko. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Medyo tuyo yung aking ano. <laughs> Mahirap magsalita. Meron, meron. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a good uh, prayer meeting last night. Praise God, Brother Edwin. Uh, thank you for the encouraging word. It is from uh, Matthew chapter 11, reading from verse 28 to 29. That he encouraged us that every time we are trial, we are weak, just come unto him and he will strengthen us. Amen. And thank you for this man. Every time I saw him, I'm glad. No? Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And today we have a good Bible study also. God remind us. No? Through Sister Dana. Thank you for the reminding from the word of God that we need, if we are facing trials or temptations, just you need to do is just keep going. No, just holding the hands of God. And don't stop serving the Lord. So today, we will discuss Micah chapter 7, reading from verse 8. Praise the Lord. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> ready, ready. <laughs> Ready na sila. <laughs> Woo! Praise God. Though I fall, I shall arise. The word fall mentioned in the Bible 363 times. And the word arise mentioned also 253 times. Kung gaano 
karaming verses ang naitala sa Biblia. Mas higit ang Diyos, ang kanyang biyaya ay patuloy sa bawat araw ay naroon, mga kapatid ko. Magkabalik ka ngayon! Ang kamay ng Diyos ay nariyan pa rin. Bakit sapagkat ang Diyos ay mahabagin, hindi lang sa akin, sa bawat isa po sa atin, mga kapatid ko. How many times we fall? Hallelujah! But the goodness of God is still remain in our life. Praise God! Hallelujah! God is faithful. God is merciful. God is loving. Many times we fall. Hallelujah. But he never looked. God. Hallelujah. To your mistake. Sa iyong pagkabagsak. Hindi po ang Diyos tumingin doon. Ang tinitinan ng Diyos kung paano po tayo bumangon muli, mga kapatid ko. You feel sometimes but God restored. Kung gaano po karami yung salitang fall. Ginagamit minsan yung fall. Minsan may kanta pa nga yan eh. I think I'm falling. <laughs> oh, di ba? Fall on your knees. Oh, di ba? <laughs> oh, hear voices all night. Si Divine pala. <laughs> So, ayan, I fall. Pulin siya. Mar maraming ano yan eh, maraming ibig sabihin yan. Ayan. Na-fall ka sa iyong wife. O, di ba? Habang tumatagal, lalo kang na-fall in love. O, di ba? <laughs> Kaya, sabi ng kanta, fall in love. Joke lang po. <laughs> Praise God! Hallelujah! Comedy lang tayo muna sa glit, mga patid. Masyado kayong seryoso eh. Baka antukin kayo. No? Praise God! Rejoice not against me! The enemy! Rejoice! When there's some people gossiping, the enemy rejoices. We are, if you are worshiping like this, the enemy rejoices. When our worship is making like this, The worship leader said, Worship! But we move like this. The enemies rejoice. Okay, tamo, hindi siya pumapalakpak. Oh. <laughs> Sinabi na nga ng worship leader, eh, pumalakpak. Hala, nakakapos ang kamay. The enemy rejoice. Kapag nauna po yung mga bagay, higit sa Diyos, mga kapatid ko. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. When I fall, I shall arise. That's why David said in the book of Psalms, chapter 37, reading from verse 22 to 23, if I'm not mistaken. 37. Reading from verse 23 to 24. Praise God. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholded him with his hand. Sometimes we fall. Hallelujah. And sometimes we are forgetting to worship God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. Hallelujah. The work of a right man. Sometimes if we fall. Hallelujah. We cannot utterly. He said. Cannot utterly cast down. Why? Because the mercy of God is still holding you. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Though he fall, he shall not be. He shall not be utterly cast down. Why? Because the hand of God is still holding on him. Because he loved you. Hallelujah. For the Lord appointed him with his hand. Sometimes we fall and we forget God in our life. But see the goodness of God? We still holding us. We still holding us, mga kapatid ko. Nagkamali ka? Tinakwil ka ba ng Diyos? Hindi naman eh. Hindi kita inakwil ng Diyos. Bakit? Nandoon pa rin yung habak ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Nagkamali ka? Ito lang kay bahan natin mga kapatid ko. Nung ang enemy ang nagrebuild sa Diyos, they thrown out in the kingdom of God. But we are, we are precious. We are precious in the sight of God. Nagkamali tayo noon. The devil sometimes ruin our life. Because every day, he inject in your mind. Nagkamali ka. Babalik ka pa ba? Hanggat may babalikan ka, bumalik ka. Sapagkat ang palad ng Diyos ay bukas. Hindi sinara ng Diyos ang pinto para sa iyo. Kaya nga minsan napakahirap if you make one mistake and they close the door. How dare you, mga kapatid ko? Napagsaran mo ang pinto ng iyong kapatid na kahit ang Diyos nga, hindi ginawa ng Diyos. Bukas ang pinto para sa bawat isa. Nandol pa rin ang habag ng ating Panginoon. Hindi kinundim ang tao, mga kapatid ko. Bukas at bukas pa rin ang pinto. Bakit? Sapagkat nandyan pa rin ang pag-ibig ng ating Panginoon. Ganyan po ang Diyos na ating nakilala, mga kapatid ko. Bakit? 
Ang perpekto ka ba na hindi ka nagkamali? Na ang isang tao ay nagkamali once, ikundin mo na? Hindi po tayo ganun, mga kapatid ko. Still the hands of God is open to reach you. Patuloy pa rin ang palad ng Diyos. Inaabot ka, mga kapatid ko. Patuloy pa rin tayong inaabot ng Diyos. Na kahit tayo nagpupumiglas minsan, mga kapatid ko. Nandoon pa rin ang kamay ng ating Panginoon. Patuloy pa rin tayo niyang hinahawakan. Patuloy pa rin niya tayong hinahawakan, mga kapatid ko. Inaalis doon sa karumihan, mga kapatid ko. At inaahon tayo, hallelujah, upang muli tayo bigyan ng pagkakataon, mga kapatid ko, na maayos yung ating nagawang pagkakamali, mga kapatid ko. Ganyan po ang Diyos na ating nakilala, mga kapatid ko. Kaya nga, mga kapatid ko, huwag naman sana mangyari nang bawat isa sa atin na ikumdim ang isang ating kapatid. I believe the wisest king said, rebuke is bitten, bitter than secret love. You can rebuke him, not in the public. If you have the wisdom of God, wag mo ipahiya. Ikaw ba, ipahiya mo sa daming tao, okay pa rin sa'yo? Ayan na tahimik. <laughs> Seryoso. Di ba mga kapatid ko? Kahit sino, mga kapatid ko, kahit, kahit hindi nakapag-aral ang isang tao, subukan mo ipahiya sa lahat ng tao yan. No? Mahirap, mga kapatid ko. I agree, sabi ni Solomon. Every, i-rebuke, mo yan, i-rebuke mo siya. Yun yung duty mo eh. Duty mo yan. Bilang kapatid mo, i-rebuke mo. Pero wag na wag naman. <laughs> Di ba? Mahal mo siya, i-rebuke mo. No? Sa tamang lugar. Wag sa ma ano, sa public. Nasaan yung wisdom mo doon? Saan yung pinag-aralan mo doon? No? So if you love the soul, rebuke in a right way. This is the reminder of Solomon. No? For me, in my uh, understanding, mga kapatid ko, yun po yung pinapaabot ng ating Panginoon, mga kapatid ko. You can use, you rebuke, you rebuke him. No? In the right way. No? Not yung para namang ano, di ba? You know what I mean. No? We all are rough for bad dito. <laughs> Rowan. No? Ayun, parang lalayo na ng mga ano nila ngayon. Di ba? May mga roro na. <laughs> Rowan, ro, ro for. Di ko alam 'yun. <laughs> oh, basta alam ko may room, room. 'Yun. <laughs> Okay. Praise God. Though he fall, he shall not utterly cast down because he hath put it in his hand. Hallelujah. Why he write King David? Because he experienced his life. He experienced this verse, chapter. Na kahit lumakad siya ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. No? Dumating pa rin sa time. No? Nakagawa siya. 
nang hindi ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ngunit, ang napakaganda, mga kapatid ko, nandoon pa rin yung kamay ng Diyos. God always give us a second chance to do what is right in the sight of Him. That's why He never cast down at the time. No? Mahirap yun mga kapatid ko no? na mawala ka sa piling ng ating Panginoon. Mahirap po yun na dati ang galing-galing mo maggitara ngayon nasa labas ka na nagigitara dati umaawit ka uh, doon sa aking ano sa YouTube umaawit po ako mga kapatid ko no <laughs> maawit po ako doon <laughs> uh, patalastas lang po <laughs> okay do I fall he shall not utterly cast down because he hath folded in his hand Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 24, reading from verse 16. For just man falleth seven times, rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into his mischief. Hallelujah. Praise God. For just man fall at seven times. Rises up again. No? Ikapito ka man bumagsak. Hallelujah. Dahil sa habag ng Diyos, patuloy ka pa rin bumabangon. Patuloy ka pa rin nagsusumikap na tumayo. Patuloy ka pa rin nagsusumikap na makasunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. See? Many times, seven times. But after that, may naisulat pa ba doon na eight? Wala na, di ba? Seven times. It's God number. So hanggang doon lang, pag lumampas ka na dyan, Wala na. <laughs> no? But this is the word from the King Solomon. For just man falleth seven times and rises up again. But the wicked shall fall into his mischief. Ngayon, kung paulit-ulit ka sa ganyan at pinapalalahanan ka na ng Diyos, Many times, God remind you, eh, problema mo na yan. Ha? Pandanagutan mo na yan. You are responsible now. Kasi, marami ng reminder ang Diyos eh. Oh? Pabalik-balik ka pa dyan eh. Pag nagka-problema ka, pananagutan mo na yan. Tapos minsan, ang problema, sisisihin mo ang Diyos eh. Bakit ganito? Eh, ayan, ang daming palala ang Diyos. Ang Diyos pa rin ang sinisi. Sometimes, we are blaming God. No? Sa mga ating mga maling desisyon. No? Kasi ang Diyos naman nagbibigay. I believe na bawat anak ng Diyos ay mayroon pong karunungan na ipagkipinagkakalubang ati pong Panginoon. Do you agree? Yes. Because once you accept Jesus Christ, God already gave us the wisdom and understanding. Hallelujah! Amen! God give us already understanding when you accept Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Second Corinthians chapter 4, reading from verse 8 to 9. 
in English. We are trouble on every side, yet not distressed. Wag mo i-distress yung sarili mo. Kung makulit yan, hayaan mo siya. <laughs> Oo, oh, makulit lang siya. <laughs> Ayan, sa makukulit. <laughs> sa makukulit. God bless. <laughs> We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Why? Because the hands of God, hallelujah, always upholded. Woo! Jesus! Yes! There is a battle every side. But God, hallelujah, is our own side always. He is in the front, He is in the back, He is in the right side, He is in the left side. Yes, hallelujah, always God present in our difficult situations in our life. Oh, yes, 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 hallelujah, oh, yes, Lord, persecuted, sometimes we persecute us, hallelujah, praise God, but God is for us. Who can be against us? Hallelujah. Sometimes we persecute us. But just hold on. Just hold on to God. Woo! Just hold on to God. Oh, just keep holding to God. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Praise God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Psalms 34. Readings, reading 18 from verse 19. Hallelujah. David said. 34, 18 to 19. The Lord is night unto them that are a broken heart. Na broken heart na ba kayo? <laughs> How many times you broke your heart? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Twice I broke my heart. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Ayan, before my wife. <laughs> yeah, he broke my heart. <laughs> Nung single pa po. <laughs> ah. I love him. I love her very much. <laughs> They, when I'm single, <laughs> when I'm single. <laughs> I love her very much, but after half a year, one and a half year, his broken eyes, heart was changed. <laughs> Ayan. But mata ino punta roan. Patalas tas lang. Baka antukin kayo. The Lord is night to them that are of the broken heart and savage such. Be of a contrite spirit. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them. Yes, God will deliver us from the sneer of the follower. Many times we fall. 
But the goodness of God and the mercies of God every morning. That's why Lamentation said, This I recall to my mind. Therefore have I hope. Many times we fall but the goodness of God every morning. There is a new beginning. There is a new hope from the Lord. This I recall to my mind. Therefore have I hope. It is the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Because His compassions feel not. They are new every morning. They are new every morning. There is another hope and blessing from the Lord. Oh, Jesus. There are new every morning. There is a new beginning to do right in the sight of God. Every morning there is a new blessing also. Every morning there is a blessing, good life. Oh, how merciful you are, my Lord. Oh, Jesus. How merciful you are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God Jesus, that every morning there is a blessing. Every morning there's a new beginning that God given to us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Back to all covers, mga kapatid ko, Micah chapter 7, reading from verse 8. Hallelujah. Rejoice not against me and my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sat in the darkness. Just highlight it, uh, Carolan. Darkness. When I sat in the darkness, I don't need, I don't want to worry. When I sat in the darkness, I don't want to worry. Tama ba yung English ko? I don't want to worry. Praise God. Live it up. <laughs> Nagpapatawa lang mga kapatid. When I sat in the darkness, I don't want to worry. Why? Hallelujah. Because said, David said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When I sat in the darkness, I don't want to worry because Psalms 91 reading from verse 1 to 7. He that dwelleth in the secret flesh of the Most High, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Surely He shall deliver thee from the sneer of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with feathers under his wing shall thou trust his throat shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the night that flyeth by day 
reading from verse 6 nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness for the destruction that rested a known day and a thousand fall and thy side and a ten thousand on the right hand but it shall come night thee oh Jesus this is the promise when you sit in the darkness don't worry don't worry hallelujah God is in your side when I sit in the darkness hallelujah I don't want to worry because there is a God there is a God there is a God there is a God oh Jesus there is a God that guided you always wherever you go When the time, the difficulties of your life, when you feel that your life is full of darkness, don't worry. My friend, my brother, hallelujah. The darkness still not, not remain. Ang kadiliman na yan ay hindi po mananatili. Bakit? Sapagkat nariyan ang Diyos. Hallelujah! That's why I said when I sat in the darkness the Lord shall be he said, I am right. The Lord shall be a light unto me. You don't need to worry. Because there is a light that shineth again. If you set it in the darkness, there is a light that shineth again. Oh, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord shall be a light unto me. That's why David said, the, the word is a light unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word that I hear in my heart that I may not sin against thee, O oh God. Psalms 119, reading from verse 11. The word that I hear in my heart that I might not sin against thee, O oh God. Nakasalaman ako sa iyo, Panginoon. Ngunit salamat sa iyong mga salita, O Diyos. Hallelujah! Ito po ang laging namumutawi sa bibig ni Haring David, mga kapatid ko. Oh, hallelujah! Not only in King David, mga kapatid ko, but in our life also, the Word of God always remind us, Hallelujah! Praise God! Praise God, praise God. Oh, Jesus, the Lord shall be a light unto me. The Lord is my light in my salvation. How 
whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Psalms chapter 27, reading from verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Ang Panginoon ang aking liwanag at kaligtasan. Hindi ako matatakot kanino man. Sapagkat kasama natin ang Diyos. Hallelujah. The Lord is the strength of my life. Praise God. The Lord is the strength of my life. Totoo ba ang salita ng Panginoon, mga kapatid ko? Nang ang Panginoon ang ating kalakasan at buhay. He is our strength. Siya ang ating kalakasan, mga kapatid ko. Hallelujah. Bakit? Sapagkat kung wala po ang Diyos sa buhay natin, mga kapatid ko, ano na lang mangyayari sa buhay natin, mga kapatid ko? Paano na lang yung buhay natin kung wala ang Panginoon? May lakas ka pa ba na magpuri sa Diyos? It's the strength of my life. Siya ang ating kalakasan, mga kapatid ko. Siya ang nagbibigay sa atin ng strength, mga kapatid ko, to keep going in serving the Lord. Is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? See, there is a four mention here. He is the light. He is our salvation. No. He is the strength. Oh, I, who shall I fear? Hindi ka pala matakot pagkasama natin ang ating Panginoon. Whatever comes in your life, whom shall I fear? Why? Because God is of refuge and strength and the very present help in times of troubles. Psalms chapter 46, Reverend, from verse 1. God is a refuge and strength. A better present help in times of trouble. You don't need to fear. Why? Because God is our refuge and strength. A better present help in times of troubles. Yes, that's the word of God. That He's always, hallelujah, present. In the time of troubles, mga kapatid ko. Yes! Hallelujah! Praise God! Whom shall I fear? He is the light. He is our salvation. In Him there is no fear. Because fear it is in the mind of a person. Do you agree? Na yung takot minsan ay nasa isip lamang natin? Nung wala pa ako sa pananampalataya, mga kapatid ko, I think uh, I'm 11 or 12. No? Takot ako sa dilim. At talagang pag inano mo sa isipan mo, matatakot ka. No? But thank God! Win! Hallelujah! Jesus! 
When Jesus, hallelujah, nakilala ko po ang ating Panginoon and God give this kind, hallelujah, of a spirit, not of fear. No? But God give us the spirit of fear. Ang sabi niya doon sa 2 Timothy chapter 1, reading from verse 7. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but power and love and sound of mind. No? Praise God! So yun po yung aking lagi inaalala mga kapatid ko. Na tayo po'y mga anak ng Diyos ay hindi po tayo binigyan ng espiritu ng katatakutan mga kapatid kundi kapangyarihan at pag-ibig at maayos na pag-iisip ayon po sa kalooban ng ating Panginoon for God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and love and sound mind hallelujah Jesus the Lord is the strength the Lord is our light. That's why also mentioned in the New Testament, then Jesus speak unto them saying, I am the light of the world. He shall follow with me, shall not walk in the darkness, but shall have the light of life. John, Chapter 8, reading from verse 12. Then speak Jesus unto them, seeing, I am the light of the world. He that shall follow with me shall not walk in the darkness, but shall have the light of life. He is the light. But the light did not receive. Hallelujah. Anong light yan, mga kapatid ko? The Word of God is our light. No? Ang salita po ng ating Panginoon, ang ilaw natin, mga kapatid ko, para makita po natin ang daraanan natin, mga kapatid ko. Doon, patungo, sa buhay na pangako ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. We need the light, mga kapatid ko, para makita po natin, mga kapatid ko, ang tamang dinaraanan po natin patungo sa buhay na walang hanggan, mga kapatid ko. Hallelujah! Though I fall, I shall arise. Hallelujah! Sa magang ito, mga kapatid ko, Marami man tayong nagawa ang pagkakamali sa harapan po ng Diyos. Marami man tayo, hallelujah, hindi na fulfill sa kalooban ng ating Panginoon. This is not the end. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Bag bagkos, ito po ang simula na tayo po muli babangon, mga kapatid ko. Even though we fall, hallelujah, we can, we can make it again. We can rise up again and do the right thing, hallelujah, in the sight of God. Though we fall, we shall not utterly cast down because he's a folded in his hand. Hallelujah, if you are tired, hallelujah, if you are, oh Jesus, if you are, Hallelujah. Tired. If you are tired and you want to give up, Hallelujah. And the strength, Hallelujah. The strength is there that e evil. To restore again the strength hallelujah that you need hallelujah in your life is here today 
the strength that you need. Hallelujah. This afternoon. The strength that you need this afternoon. Hallelujah. Is here. Hallelujah. The strength that you need. Hallelujah. Is here. That only God can give the strength. We can do all things. Hallelujah. We can renew our strength. Hallelujah. To worship the Lord. To worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. If you feel tired and exhausted. Hallelujah. This afternoon. Hallelujah. The strength. Is here. What you need to do today. You know the secret. To renew your strength. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 40. Reading from verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. He shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah, Jesus. Today, as you meditate the word of God, the strength is able to give this morning. It's up to you. Nasa sa iyo po yan. Kung papaano mo i-renew ang, ang kalakasan na nawala. Ang bawat kalakasan na nawala, mga kapatid ko, ay ibibigay po yan ng ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. Kung papaano mo ito kukunin sa ating Panginoon. If you want to renew the strength, you know the secret to renew the strength. Hallelujah. That's why the song says, His strength is perfect. When the strength is gone, when the strength is gone, He is able to carry us. Hallelujah. So today, reminder from the Lord that though we fall, we can rise again through the health of God. And that strength that gone, God is able to strengthen us again. Hallelujah. Jesus. That's why the song says, His strength is perfect. When our strength is gone, He carries us when we can carry on. His strength, oh, that He His strength is perfect, mga kapatid ko. This morning, as we stand in the presence of the Holy God, Though sometimes our strength is gone, God is able to restore it again. Whatever problems that you are facing right now, whatever situations that you have right now, only we can do today
hallelujah, is to worship. If you want to renew the strength, only we can do today is to worship the King. Oh yes, Jesus. Oh, I can do all things to Christ who give me strength. Yes. Come on, let us worship the Lord. Worship the Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Jesus. He carry us. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh yeah, he is the light of the world. Oh yes, Lord, yes, Lord Jesus. Oh yeah. Let us merit it. 